Hey YouTube, real quick video to, I'll give you a little bit of update on my uh, TF2 builds that I uh, mentioned in my last video after uh, coming back from the uh, Ultimate Scale Truck Expo. You're gonna, you're gonna wonder why I did this how I did. This is my original TF2, I call it, yeah, and I didn't, uh, I didn't bolt the uh, wall cage in yet because I'm going to spray some bed liner in the back. My original TF2 one, but it has a brand new Marlin crawler body on it. Round headlights, probably one of the better paint jobs I've done. I don't know if that's showing it, but midnight blue metallic, duplicolor and clear. Anyways, why why I went this route? This truck, I've had it I think like five years, and it works. Uh, it, it's it's broken, it's loose, it's it's it has good flex, it has the A and M shackle reversal skid. I do have the two speed in it still, but it's locked in second gear. Um, I'm going to a swap meet this weekend, and I will say after I get to talking about the Marlin crawler, if I can find a set of T, uh, Yoda two axles. For a good price, I'll get them and put them in this. Uh, the the front the the turning radius is so much nicer, and possibly if I can find a uh, single speed transmission, I'm um, taking the truck with me too. So maybe even if I can find somebody that wants to swap for a two speed, I don't know. I'll do that. But yeah, this is uh, this is going to be my class one truck now because it doesn't have anything that opens now. The body I was running on that truck, a well patinaed oval headlight, full light kit in it, one too many RC light bar. I bobbed the bed 20 millimeter, bobbed the topper, but it can be a class zero since the back opens. Full interior, I don't know if you can see that, but full interior driver figure, but uh, this is going to a different home at the swap meet. Well, somebody already claimed it. So that made an easy decision to uh, put the Marlin crawler body on my original TF2. And it's 90% done. Like I said, I, uh, I used the Krylon truck bed coating. Uh, this particular brand, I don't know, it seems if you hold it back enough and watch how you spray it, it goes on light enough that it, it actually looks pretty scale. So we'll be doing that to the bed. Painted the uh, roll bar flat black. And something that came in the mail yesterday. And I'm dropping stuff all over. I have the RC four wheel drive full interior for it. Now, you know, I scratch built the interior in the red one. I uh, didn't want to deal with it this time and running out of time. So the complete interior, I did open it. I didn't pull it out. I have an idea what it's uh, going to be like. And I'll show you why in a minute. I guess it has some metal parts. Uh, dash inlays and stuff it has metal parts in it. So that's going to be cool. And it's all the various parts to make an interior. So that's going to be cool. Like I said, cl class one truck. I mean, the thing already points out. It's like 60 scale. I put the interior in it, a driver figure. I mean, it's 60 scale points without adding anything extra to it. And, yeah, I did put the, uh, or the, the IROC and Turcos uh, off the Marlin Crawler. I've heard good things about them. They're, they're not weighted. I like I usually put lead weights on in my wheels, and these aren't. I'm going to that swap meet Saturday, so hopefully uh, Dan Davidson with Beef Tubes has some uh, beef patties that will match these that I can put on the inside to get me some weight to them. But other than that, I mean, th this truck is ready to go. I mean, it's a tank. So th that is, that's my Class 1 truck. Let's put that back. Well, we're going to work on that next. 
So, the Marlin Crawler. Like I said, I you know you might think that's backwards, but that chassis was already ready and proven. It's my beater truck, so the Marlin Crawler was new, brand spanking new. I better take this off so I don't drop it or scratch it. So the brand new Marlin Crawler, I took everything apart, put the K&K stainless steel hardware in it, uh, greased everything with marine grease. Took the uh, intermediate, I'll call it, leaves out. The uh, next, they have three leaves on them, so I took the next longest one out, and I think it's going to be good. I mean, this is my class zero truck. The Team K and K five slots, yeah, they're one ton, but that's okay. We'll deal with it. I did notice if I leave the stock bumper, which I wanted this to be stock appearing. I might have to trim these a little bit because I'm obviously going to get some tire rub. Uh, not a big deal. I'll, I'll do that and touch it up with some paint. Uh, I forget what this was. Sun Sun Glow Sun Glow Gold Metallic or something. It's actually a uh, Ford color. I think it turned out pretty decent. It uh it looks good with the black topper on it and the black bumpers. Get this on there. There. Yeah, um, I left side windows out. I don't like side windows, and actually, after doing a little research, and I'm gonna forget, but I think it was part of my noob on uh, Scale Builders Guild when he did one. He cut the wing out because uh, technically the 85s don't have a wing window yeah I'll do that when it needs a repaint and I'm leaving the back window out because technically the back window should slide down into the back and I don't want it in there yeah, the tailgate opens the doors open the hood opens which technically in class zero if your hood opens you uh, need to show an interior uh, engine bay. So I'm working on that. That That is coming. It, it will have. And something else that was already brought up. Uh, Rob Matthews on Instagram. Thank you, sir. And our fenders. Well, they were already on their way also. So that was part of my RC4 dive order. I have the inner fenders to put in it. And uh, the plastic, these Lexan ones. I mean, the same ones I have in the TF2 original they've been in it four or five years i mean they're tough so that'll work and then uh light kits just the basic rc four-wheel drive light kits for both so everything will have lights i didn't i have my own leds but i didn't want to deal with it they're already wired up put them in plug them in you're good to go so you're gonna say well well wait a minute where there's no interior well that was today's project. I got the paint down and I wanted, uh, I guess, you know, gray, black interior. I well, I wasn't sure. It probably should have had a tan interior in it, but I'm not a fan of tan interiors. So I went gray and black. And I'm going to I'm going to do a little bit of a wash maybe or just, just to make them look a little dirty. And then the door panels, you know, and they're not perfect, which, you know, you don't want them looking perfect. Uh, I forgot to do the, I might do the lock button black too. Well, let's, uh, I can put this one in there, at least show how they go. Yeah, there, so that's how the, the door panel would go. And then the seat, there, there's a magnet down in the bottom of here. And this is actually a piece of metal that screws on. So when it's in there and this shuts, the magnet will clip the door shut. 
And I'll probably do an after video once I get it done. And all together. But yeah, that was it. I just uh, painted them with Walmart, I don't know, acrylic paints. No big deal. My daughter's pretty crafty, so I uh, get into her paints all the time. And yeah, you know they are, I, they can scratch and scuff, but that's okay. It can come off easy too if you ever want to change the color. So anyways, there, there's the quick recap on the uh, Class 0 and Class 1. TF2s. Uh, like I said, big swap meet Saturday. Probably won't be doing any video from that, but there will be some afterwards. Uh, there's going to be a semi competition where I guess it's for your CDL Class A. I think there's uh, three three competitions you have to do driving skills. I'm going to take the whole setup, but I believe the uh, everybody gets to use the same, and I think it's just the stock Tamiya cargo trailer. So it's a lot shorter than that. Um, so that'll be fun. That'll be really nice. And then uh, the swap meet. I mean, we'll see. Uh, you know, I'll probably have a video afterwards to see what, what how I did or what I did with the swap meet. So till the next time, uh, we'll talk to you later.